One of our viewers asked, do you think you can do a tutorial on Van Gogh's painting, The Sea at La Sainte Marie de la Mer? I tried painting it before, but I found the wave so difficult to do with the impasto style that he uses. So let's see if we can paint the sea as Van Gogh sees the sea. Well, it's not about impasto. Uh, before you do any style of painting, you need to be able to see exactly what's going on within the visual realm. Well, if we're studying Van Gogh, if we're studying a painting by Van Gogh as we are here, we need, first of all, to focus on the visual elements that we're looking at. What is Van, Do what is Van Gogh, how does Van Gogh see color? What has he done with color and value? Not only color and value, but with Van Gogh, it's color, value, and rhythm. Because Van Gogh painted very fast. Of course, he painted very thick. That's impasto. But that's secondary. That was his way of putting together what he was seeing and how he was perceiving. So, impasto, put that aside. That comes last. First of all, look at what Van Gogh is doing in the way of color value and rhythm. So I'm going to, to do, uh, show you just a, uh, show you how to look at this just in uh, a little portion here. We're not going to take time to do the whole thing but just enough to show you what I'm talking about. So if we're looking, this person said uh, he's having trouble painting the waves as Van Gogh sees them. So let's just look at this little portion right in here. What are we seeing? First of all, what is Van Gogh seeing in terms of color and value? You can see way back here, he's seeing very dark greenish blue. So if we go with a very dark greenish blue, whether we do it in, in impasto or whether we do it in just a painterly style, if we're looking at a very dark greenish blue, then we go for green and blue, and we're, we're looking at with green and blue achieving what Van Gogh achieved back there. Now we can see that Van Gogh's rhythm is very fast and he's following the motion that he's observing of the ocean, motion of the ocean. Back in the distance there we're seeing a little bit of movement in this direction and movement in this direction. Let's get the color just a little bit. We're seeing broken color. The colors aren't mixed and so we'll see it a little darker in some places, maybe a little bit greener in some places, and a little bit bluer a little bit lighter in other places as it goes here, but whether you're using a palette knife or a brush, observe Van Gogh's uh, not only of the colors, not only the values, but that rhythm, that fast rhythm, that fast movement of, of the brush, the palette knife, it wouldn't matter, you could use your fingers and do this. So there we go. Now that's what we're observing that Van Gogh's seeing as he looks into the depth of the sea. As it comes down, he's seeing some movement that he's translating with a lighter blue. So, see, so you're describing to yourself what you're looking at, what Van Gogh is doing. You're not trying to replicate a Van Gogh painting. If you are, you're off track. So, as we come down, we see that he's seeing bluer. He's seeing lighter. So, we see bluer, we see lighter. We pull off some white, we add in some blue, and we see that blue in the value that Van Gogh saw the blue. It's not thoroughly mixed. So if I hold my brush up like that, you see I pretty much have it. I, I begin to kind of stroke in the movement, in the fast rhythm that Van Gogh, in which Van Gogh painted. Very quick, very quick brush strokes, very quick movement. Moving in, he observes that uh, the, the waves of the ocean are moving in one direction and then moving another. So we do that in that direction and then that direction, in this direction and then this direction. We move very fast, need more paint on the brush, need more color. But keeping it in that same value range that we see Van Gogh, Van Gogh's painting moving. So that, that gives us then what Van Gogh is observing when he's, as he's moving towards or as his vision is coming towards uh, where the sea is closer and closer to him. Now I'm going to skip this part right here. I'm going to get to this part right here. But so what is he seeing going on there? Let me get this a little bit more, uh, a little bit more 
of the canvas covered in there trying to keep that action in there we see the action because we do, the paint is not thoroughly mixed we have a little bit of the darker blue on the brush and we have a little bit of the lighter blue on the brush we might call that a double loaded brush where we see a little bit of the darker blue a little bit of the lighter blue which he did enabled him to get those variations with those quick strokes all right coming back down what do we see happening right here we see happening right there he sees the dark green and little specks of yellow dark green and very short little vertical strokes that are moving across right here that dark green as it moves across is the, the here changing to blue and then here changing to blue still is still very very dark so let's see what we can do to um, pretty much translate what Van Gogh has done there <coughs> so I'll go into the green the dark green first of all and that green is a little bit lighter just a little bit of lighter in that green I'm going to leave some space right here for the white you will see that green he pulls down a quick stroke to get a little bit more of the white in there quick stroke quick stroke quick stroke quick stroke quick 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 downward movement quick 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 downward movement he's moved very fast and I'll go to the blue add the blue because we see that blue quick 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 down very fast this is where Van Gogh is observing as the ocean as the waves are moving over and capturing that deep shadow on the ocean then what we see above that we see that he's done some very almost splashy motions to interpret the white or the, the the white foam as it's rolling over the shadow areas of the motion there so you see you describe to yourself what you're seeing what are you seeing in the way of color in value and rhythm the brush strokes how fast are they moving and in which direction are they going so I'm just going to throw some white down on the palette which is probably what he did probably reached for it just about like that plopped it on the palette we don't know that but this is what it appears that he did we can read his handwriting in the piece as we're looking at it and I think maybe he might well that looks like pretty much pure white he might have added a little bit of yellow or orange to it I'm not quite sure that he did but uh, we can do that now he probably punched it just like I'm punching it now just like built that color up you see just pretty much like that that's probably all he did just that very quick motion as he moved across those waves and then one more thing I'm not going to carry this uh, very very far but one more thing that we see that um, enables us to to translate what he was seeing and interpreting is then we see this blue below as it's getting closer to us he's seeing more uh, contrast in those waves as his brush strokes move so we see first of all we see that blue the blue that he has uh, who he observer, uh, is observing right here and we see that blue in a value about like that maybe a little bit lighter it's just a little bit more and I guarantee you that his palette was a mess this is mine's becoming a mess here there we go something like that and he's doing something like this he's putting it on this as quick as it can very very quick very very quick and I bet you from the looks of this he put all those strokes on very quick having them move in the direction that he sees the ocean moving as it's moving this way and that way the movement the internal movement of this part of the ocean and he's capturing that movement he was kept movement rhythm movement equals rhythm he was capturing the movement as much as he was anything else that's what excited him it was the the rhythm of the thing and then we see those those strokes those dark blue strokes and I reach for a dark blue here he's capturing the rhythm that moves this way this way this way this way and you can see he would make those strokes move in the direction then he would see another moving like this capture it this way this way this way this way and then you would see pretty much the, a similar interpretation not the same but a similar interpretation that Van Gogh would do so <clears throat> when you're studying a Van Gogh piece 
or any piece where where there's lots of movement where it's more interpretive than it is descriptive examine what's happening there in the way of color in the way of value in the way of rhythm or uh, it might be other characteristics but especially Van Gogh's work when you're studying it those are the three main things you're going to look for so once you learn to see it like this you can translate it with as thick uh, paint layers as you can manage whether it's with palette knife or brush the impasto doesn't matter what causes us to see that that activity the richness that Van Gogh was able to capture it's not the impasto but it's what's, what the impasto is made with in terms of color in terms of value and in terms of rhythm hope you enjoyed this quick tip if you have questions or a suggestion for a quick tip, leave us a comment right down here in the YouTube comment box. And take a trip over to DianeMinds.com and look at all the things we have there for you, including full-length video tutorials. And while you're there, sign up for our newsletter so you'll always be informed of our latest adventures. And thanks for watching.